Welcome to PartialArc.com. Don't do that. You find yourself in a tavern. Yo, we should have checked for traps. I knew he forgot something. I think I can reason with him. You killed his father. Can I have sex with him? You could certainly try. I'm going to touch the sword. Don't touch the sword. The child is evil, right? Obviously. I could cast fireball. Always cast fireball. All right. Roll for it. Welcome to Friday Night Quests. I'm your host and dungeon master, Jay Jones. We're back with the fourth and final part of our adventure with actress Seychelle Gabriel from The Legend of Korra and Falling Skies. Let's not prolong the suspense any longer. Let's get to the game. Previously on Friday Night Quests, our heroes have recovered the stolen Moondrop Lily, but too late to stop two sloddy interdimensional frog monsters from slipping into our reality. Can our heroes destroy these creatures of chaos? Or will they become incubators for the sinister slutty spawn? So, uh, Griswold turns to all of you and says, Please calm down. And waves his hand. I'd like all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Jesus. What I, exactly what I'm good at. Oh, Zereni, you don't have to. You're out in the water right now. You're not oh, okay. close enough. Oh, okay, cool. 12. Sweeney? 25. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, 23. Fuck, I got lucky. 19. <laughs> <laughs> so, luckily for all of you, you feel a creeping nightmarish sensation wash over your body, but it fades off, fades away. He notices that none of you respond the way that he hopes. He kind of tilts his head slightly and, hmm, and reaches out for you, Izzy, with his hand. His hand now seems to have changed. You can see as it reaches out to you, his pale skin has now turned to a green color. Black claws extending from his fingers wrap and going for your throat. Is Togar in the room, by the way? Togar is not in the room. Oh, wait. Yes, Togar is also in the room. Tog- is, everybody's is in the room. Is he a red slotty? <laughs> I mean, he's not the slotty, right? Togar? No. Yeah. Okay. Togar's, Togar's no, no, no. still a minotaur. What's his, what's his reaction to the slotty? Freaked out? Okay. They all look like, freaked out. Bro! They, I love you, bro. No, no, no. They all look freaked out okay. about what's Bart happening here. Bart looks freaked out, too. Bart looks freaked out. Bart's Everybody looks like, freaked out. Yes, that's right. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> they all look <laughs> okay. terrified. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. Hold <laughs> I on. thought maybe, like, we're ch- children, village of the damned here. Uh, 14? <laughs> So that'll hit you in your regular form, I believe. Oh, wait, no, I don't my think it does. A- my AC is 16. 16, no. Yeah, so he swings at his dream. claws, and he misses you. Uh, All right. Uh, Horace, it's your turn. Griswold, you're a shitty person. You should feel bad about that. <laughs> I'm going to swing at him. Oh, I get a one. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? Oh, boy. Can I make a yeah, request? Yeah, please, please. You swing at him. He... Steps to the side, grabs you, and throws you out the window after oh Zareni. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> it's a one. Um, it's a one. So you go poof right into the water below. Okay. Um, I'm wearing splint mail, so I'm going to sink. <laughs> no. You're strong enough to swim with splint mail. Okay. All right. I can climb a I Well, can you, climb still have, a pole. you still have your movement because you were right yeah, next to him. So I you can g- climb a pole. So can I grab Zareni, who's in the water? Yeah, she's in the water as well. Okay, I'm going to grab her and like try, try to, to hold, like, hold myself All right, up. I like you to roll an athletics yeah. check. Okay. Now that I'm good at. Um, <laughs> athletics is, oh yeah, that's a 25. Wow. <laughs> so you one arm grab her, yeah, and, throw her <laughs> and just and one arm yeah. just grab the pole and just yeah. pull yourself okay. up. Awesome. So you're like halfway up the pole going up. He's a bad man. Zereni, it's your turn. Do you, oh, what do you want to do? Do you want to do? Do uh, continue climbing up the thing? Because you can kind of like go off of Horace's yeah, you can helping jump off you of me and, and try to grab up. up the window and pull yourself back up. Okay. Yeah. All right. So roll and it's going to be an athletics check. Could it be acrobatics? It could be acrobatics, whichever is higher. She's an elf, so she might do a cool acrobatics. Scene. acrobatics so 19 acrobatics. 19? Oh, yeah. You, you, so he's pulling you up with one arm. You twist, brace your feet on both of his shoulders, and leap off of that, and with your two hands, grab the edge of the window and flip yourself back inside. Oh, nice. And I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> you have one action left, so you can do I something. I have an action left, and as I, my feet hit the ground... Eldritch blast that Slotty's ass. <laughs> yeah, get him in the ass. And yeah, can I do that? Ow, my ass. <laughs> Guys. Ooh. 11, 17. 17, you hit. <gasps> Great. Yes. Damn it. How Is much his damage? ass easier to hit? 
His ass is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty low, easy to hit. Low AC. Okay. Nice. And what kind of damage okay. is this, by the way? Penetration. Jeez. <laughs> Penetrating. Force. <laughs> uh, uh, ha ha. What uh, kind of damage is this? Penis. Ha ha. <laughs> so funny. Force damage. Force damage? Okay. Is that a six or a nine? That's a nine. Horace, you look so red. It's a nine or a yeah, six? Said the, the okay, a nine. Word. And a five. So 14. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Eldritch Blast is awesome. Yep. Very nice. All right. Sweeney, it's your turn. Quick arcana check on Slotty, and specifically green and red. I want to figure out what their resistances are mm. and what their vulnerabilities are. Because if they're like dragons, then like I shouldn't hit a red one with fire because it wouldn't really work that well. Things like that. This arcana, I guess. Good thing. 18. 18 arcana. So you know Slotty exists in Limbo, and Limbo has all of the primary elements almost constantly everywhere. Water is solid. Lightning is water. It's just like constantly ebbing and flowing. So creatures living there have developed almost close to immunities, not close to, but resistances to those type of damage. So you know acid, cold, fire, lightning, and thunder, they probably are resistant to. Almost everything I cast <laughs> in that category. Now that's resistant, not immune. Yeah, I know. Uh, but magic missiles force damage, just like Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Magic missile always hits. Yeah. Uh, unlike literally anything else in my spell list. Yep, that's what's happening. So I'm going to cast magic missile as a third level spell, which means I'm going to get five darts. Okay. 13 force damage. To, to what? Oh, sorry. Uh, let's do... Oh, Griswold it's, or it's the gonna, Red let's, Slotty? Let's do Griswold. Actually, no. The one that's already been hit. Okay. Red Slotty. And how much was that? 13? 13. Okay. The Red Slotty starts moving at a quick pace towards you, Sweeney. Oh. As he's doing this, you see the wounds that you inflicted with your magic missile start to heal. Oh. <sighs> I hate you. I hate these It leaps guards. at you, its claws ready to dig into you, and attacks. Oh, no. No, Jay. We're all gonna die. 19 for one. Yes. And a natural 20 I had a feeling for the from, other one. From your face, I thought, I thought maybe. So, uh, the claw swipes at you, and you take seven damage. Uh-huh. And as you're reeling from that, and you flip around, it's jaws go into the back of your shoulder Ugh. and neck and deal you 16 damage. 7 plus 16 is uh, 23. 23. 23. 34 minus 23 is n- 11, 11, folks. I have so 11. 11. This has been Math Corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back down to 11 hit points. All right. Izzy, it's your turn. Boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Boy, uh, oh, boy. I'm going to conjure animals okay a brand new level three spell that no none of y'all have seen me do no yet. it's true brand new so i'm gonna summon face spirits to take the form of beasts and appear in spaces that i can see within range which will be kind of like around us yeah around me. Oh. i'm gonna i'm gonna conjure two dire wolves because i'm at a level three I could only do two oh, shit. at you a can conjure two dire wolves. Two dire wolves at Sierra One. Just make wolves appear. Yeah, the wow. summon creatures are friendly to me and my companions. They ha- they take a roll initiative. They are now counted into the roll initiative. Okay. They obey any verbal commands from me. Hence, bite, constrict, whatever. Right. Um, if I can't issue a verbal command to them, they just uh, defend. Okay. Um, defend you or just defend themselves? They defend our group. So oh. if they don't take any commands, if I don't give them any commands, they defend themselves from hostile creatures, but otherwise take no action. So they can't keep doing the same actions. So. Yeah. So anyways, I, I do that. And two dire wolves appear flanked on my <laughs> left and right. Nice. <laughs> oh, woo. Oh, woo. One on my left has 11. Initiative. 11 initiative. And the other one on my right has tw- natural 20. Oh, geez. And we'll call then, it lefty and righty. Sure. So righty is the 11. Righty is number 20. Lefty is 11. Okay. And then they don't do actions until it, it comes back to them. Gotcha. Okay. So now the now the two dire wolves oh, have appeared. And the uh, the natural 20s, uh, it would be 22. This is an initiative. Because it's his dex plus. His dex is 20. Okay. So it would be 22. Yeah. Okay. What's its dex modifier? Plus two. Plus, plus two. two. Roll so off. They, Oh, against roll a die. Tell me what the result is. Twelve. All right, your dire wolf goes right now. 
<laughs> righty or lefty? Righty goes. All right, righty. I, um, yeah. I, uh, what's his speed? Speed is fifty feet. The yeah. The salt. What is it? Slubly. 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 Slotty. Slotty. Gonna write that down. Slotty. S l a a d i. Like like hotty. Or slod. Slotty is the body. with a body. Slod's the plural, isn't it? Or slotty is the plural. Yeah. Slutty. We all took that class, right? Yeah. Between slot and slutty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. English class, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Or, sorry, common That's class. That's all I learned about was pluralizing monsters <laughs> in English. Uh, so who's the dire wolf going for? Uh, the red slotty, yeah. Take his speed, and he's going to do a bite, which is a melee weapon attack of 21. To AC? Yeah. Oh, he hits. Uh, I hit one target with 2d6. Nice. Plus three. Nine plus so three 12. is twelve piercing damage. Nice. If uh, the target is a creature, it must succeed on a DC thirteen strength uh, saving right. throw or be knocked prone. What was it? Thirteen. DC thirteen strength saving throw. It fails. So you take it to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf versus frog. Woo! All yeah. right. So you Wee! knock it to the ground. Wolf always wins. So Griswold notices this and notices what you did, just conjured two wolves and one just took one of his slotty down. So he turns to you and and points and goes, no, 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 no more. And out of his finger, you see a spark of fire and then a gigantic fireball hurls right at you. At Izzy? At Izzy. And as it goes towards Izzy, ah. because he's rats near, well, he's not near, Zer- well, Zereni's behind him. You're still climbing up. But it's gonna hit you as well. Well, so that I'd like to be seen. I'd like both of you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Okay. Boy, howdy! Do I wish I had What'd prepared you get, counter spell today? It is a five. What did you get? Eighteen. Okay, so you're gonna take half damage. I'm gonna need a lot of. I need to borrow some d sixes, please. Yeah, I got three for you right here. Thank you very much. Oh, I gosh. imagine I'm not gonna need them again for for a while. I need eight d six. Eight. Eight D6. Eight. Here's another. Oh, God. So that is five, 10, 15. Rolled a lot of ones, guys. 20 damage. So Sweeney takes 20 damage. So Sweeney's unconscious. Okay. And Izzy's at takes 10 damage. So I'm at 20. Damn any Christmas. So a giant Whoa. fireball shoots out of his fingers, envelops the room. Togar jumps and covers Bart and, you know, basically takes the brunt of it. He looks okay, but he, he took a he took a big hit there. I like Togard. Horace, it's your turn. Okay. Can I climb all the way back up? You can. Am I so I'm in the room? Yeah. I'd probably only have another action, right? Or do I have more move? If you if you can move up, so roll an athletics check to continue okay. to pull yourself back up. Oh yeah, that's like twenty eight. Oh yeah. Then you like you do it with style. <laughs> yeah. You just okay. like you almost like just flip through amazingly right. into the Ho-ho! room. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm going to immediately charge um, uh, Grizzled. Grizzled. Um, I'm also going to yell at Torag and Bart, and I'm going to say, pick up a stick and hit something. I actually roll a persuasion on that one. Okay. After you, I guess, uh, roll your attack. Okay, that attack missed. But here's my persuasion. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's a 23. Nice. Okay. Yeah, um, you know what? Uh, Torag comes back up, uh, and and Bart's still like shaken. He doesn't look like he's gonna move anywhere, but Torag kind of gets up and looks like he's he's gonna go do okay. something. Okay, and then I'm going to um, do my uh, another attack. God, that's a miss too. And then one more attack. Well, what do you? What's the result? Oh, th- uh, threes. Oh, or oh, it's like oh, I'm sorry. It was um, uh, eleven and eleven. No. Okay. You're doing your third. Yeah. And that's, oh, that's um, 20. Okay, that hits. Uh, 13 damage. Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, Zereni, it's your turn. I'm going to do Dissonant Whispers. But I can't decide whether or not to do it to one of the Slotty or Griswold. Do it to Griswold. Cause well, Griswold I was thinking because Griswold he's is like one of the Slotty. Yeah. Oh. oh. Horse, you're okay. so Okay, I'm going to do Dissonant Whispers yeah. to, uh, to Griswold. It's a discordant melody that he can hear that just goes like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Terrifying. Yeah, so it's terrifying. Read the yeah. description. Only one creature of choice within range can hear, racking it with terrible pain. Ooh. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. He has to beat a 14. Or, 
sure he does beat it, but I th- probably take half damage. Okay. He takes 5d6 halved. Oh, jeez. He takes half of 5d6. That's a strong <laughs> attack. All right, so here you go. Here's uh, here's a bunch of d6. Yeah, we can have ours back. <laughs> you can have those back. Okay. 14. So seven. He takes seven damage. Seven psychic damage. Seven psychic which hopefully damage. he does not mm. resist to. Ooh. <laughs> I just fist pumped right there. <laughs> Is this one yours? Yeah. That Your murder mine. dice? My murder dice. One of my murder dice. Yeah. Um, all right. Sweeney, it's your turn. I'm going to roll a death saving death throw. Death saving throw. This feels familiar. So that's one failure. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I need my D6. Save him. The red sloddy swipes back against the dire wolf that's on top of him. Wait, Sw- can he if he's been knocked prone? So he'll stand up, and the wolf's right next to him. So he's oh. gonna sli- he's gonna swipe and bite at it. Doesn't uh, him standing up take as an action? Because that's what we. It have. takes a move. He no, can't move. No, no, but I mean, like, um, isn't that an attack of opportunity? If it stands up, yeah, that might be right about the attack of opportunity yeah. when he stands. That's how it's been in Pathfinder in three point five. Okay, well, all right. So when it stands up, I'll let you your dire wolf get an attack of opportunity. Uh, bark, 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 go! Oh, oh my God! Oh, it's. It's a seven. Oh my god! It looked like it looked like a one from far away. My iridescent crappy dice. Uh, that is twelve. Not strong enough. Not strong mm. enough. Okay. So it attacks. It gets uh, a total of it gets nineteen and seventeen. What's the AC of the dire wolf? The AC is fourteen. Okay. So both will hit. So the dire wolf takes fifteen damage. Okay. That brings it down to about twelve. All right. Izzy, it's your turn. Oh, wait, sorry. The wolf goes. Which one? Uh, <laughs> lefty does. Lefty! Not the one that had just attacked the red one, the one that hasn't attacked yet. Minus. Okay, so Lefty is going to charge at Griswold. All right. <clears throat> and make a bite. Leaping and biting at him. Nice. Uh, that's like 24. Oh, that hits. So he hits. I need, I need my D6. I need my D6 back from your crushing blow. Crushing blow. Crushing blow, too. <laughs> 2d6, so that is a 6, and a 3, that's a 9, 9 plus 3, that's 12 uh, piercing damage. Nice. And again, uh, the uh, Griswold needs to make a DC 13 strength oh, right. saving throw, or else he is knocked prone. Uh, he's fine. He knocks the wolf back. Mm. So I think, uh, I mean, we're not going to backtrack and take the damage back, but you don't really trigger an opportunity attack when you stand up. It's really more when you're leaving reach. Uh, I think it doesn't say explicitly. Well, it, the oh, wolf okay. didn't hit anyway. It didn't. Yeah. I didn't hit it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now Griswold just had a dire wolf attack him. He's going to throw both hands out, and fire seems to pool from both of his palms, aimed at the dire wolf. He got a eight and a seventeen. I believe the seventeen hits. Seventeen. On, yeah. So out of his left hand, a flaming fireball shoots out and hits the floor next well, to the dire wolf. Uh, if he's doing, I'm right next to him. If he's doing spells next to me, do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, if you're doing a, a ranged attack? It was that case in fourth. I don't know if that's still the case. Okay. Mm. Man, all I these think, things I think opportunity tracks are really just, tra- just if triggered. If you're just trying to leave. When, run away. But he might have disadvantage. Oh, because he's because he's trying to cast because he's, he's trying to cast close when he's right next to yeah, someone. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That, well, one he misses and the one he hits on. I'll see if he misses again. No, that one's also yeah. gonna hit. So okay. it does. So one fireball fires out of his left hand and it scorches the ground next to the dire wolf, but the one out of his right does catch it and does ten fire damage. Ten fire damage. Okay. Horace, it's your turn. Okay, so this is happening inside my mind. <laughs> All Meanwhile. of this, oh, this entire thing. A great, no. <laughs> a great preface to whatever is about to happen. That's that's true of what we're all seeing in our minds when we play this game. <laughs> it was all um, a dream. I, uh, I I want to run over to Sweeney and jam his potion down his mouth. Okay, but I think it's probably better to just no, no, just 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 fight, kill him. Yeah, that's right. You know what Sweeney would want. Yeah. I mean, I want Sweeney wants him to save you, but Sweeney Mike wants, wants you to live. Mike wants you to Sweeney might live. Mike wants you to kill a slotty. <laughs> mm, that's a miss. That's an eleven. Well, oh, total eleven. Yeah. No, yeah, it's a miss. Okay. Also, if you left him, you would take an attack of opportunity. Uh, Eighteen. Oh, that hits. Okay. 
Uh, 11 points. Oh, nice. Yeah, cut him up. So he's starting to look a little worse for wear. Who, All right. Who, Griswold or the slotty? Uh, Griswold is. Griswold is. Okay, cool. As you're cutting into him, Horace, as the blades are scraping his back, every time you cut, you see some of the clothes that he's wearing, the illusion of them start to fade a bit, oh. and you see what looks like green frog-like skin as you're cutting into him. Mm. Ew. What a jerk. What a jerk. That's gross. Zareni, it's your turn. Um, I think I'm going to use my chill touch just for some variation on mm -hmm. Griswold. So I once again create my ghostly skeletal hand towards him, and I say, hey man, be chill. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and it, it uh, makes- Zareni keeps her it, cool in, yeah. in combat. Hey, Pun all intended. about logic. Pun very intended. Hey. Um, and it, he takes one D8 necrotic damage. Uh, first you rolled a attack. Oh, oh, I rolled, right, of course. Six, 12. Against Griswold? I hit the Minotaur. Sorry, that does not hit Griswold. Aww. Oh. It's okay. a little bit, a little bit quicker. So, I feel better. <laughs> well, I'm glad. At least I had a cool hand. Yeah, moment. I felt the I cool felt breeze. Empowered. Yeah, I felt a cool breeze. It's a cool pun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Lefty's turn. It doesn't take pun damage. Oh God, I forgot to give Righty his turn. Righty gets his turn. Sorry about that. We right. do Righty and Lefty at the same time because we forgot to give him his turn before bark, bark. before Griswold. Righty's gonna uh. Do, 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 do. <sighs> Righty's next to the red slot. Right? Righty's yeah. next to the slotty. Well, they're both slotty. Righty's gonna turn, and he's going to move next to Lefty, his brother. He will get an attack of opportunity from the red slutty. Crap. If he if he takes his action, he can disengage and just run up next to his brother, and then his brother has a better attack. Yeah. Let's, Prob probably the way to I go. But I want to put them together. Yeah, because they get so hack tactics So what's together. happening? I want to, Righty's going to move to join his brother. He's going to not attack this turn. Result. Yeah. So he's not going to, so he's going to, he's just, so yeah. not attack the red slotty. No. So I would say he's not going to attack at all. He's just moving he's up just to moving where lefty to his, is. Yeah. So there's an action they can take, which is disengage. Mm -hmm. So instead of just like jumping away to attack, it'll disengage and then move up to lefty. So this way it doesn't get an attack of opportunity from the slotty. So the slotty swings to swipe at the at the wolf. The wolf dips down and disengages and gets out of there. Cool, cool. So now lefty's turn. Lefty's now going to take a biting attack and he has advantage um, since his wolf ally is within five feet of him. At Griswold? At Griswold. All right. Roll for it. Roll the, the both time. 10 and oh, 19. You hit. 19 blitz of 24, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Woohoo, hitting! So lefty's gonna do another, uh, do his bite on Griswold. Five plus three is eight. Eight piercing damage. All right. Griswold must do a DC strength saving throw. Or he gets dragged to the ground. Or he's knocked prone. Uh, he got a 14. Oh, crap. So he's he By the also skin knocks, of his teeth. he knocks the dire wolf off of him. Ah. All right, Sweeney, it's your turn. Death saving throws. Yeah. Don't roll a one. Another. That bright light's getting closer. Oh no, that's too too bad one. You know, it's not a bad idea to have a wizard in the fight. Oh, I know what I'm doing. All right, it's the red slotty's turn. It leaps after the uh, the dire wolf that was attacking it before and swings at righty. First with its claws, and then with its teeth. Oh, crap. And crap. is its AC 11 or lower? His AC is 14. It misses with both the claws and the bite. <laughs> oh! Jeez. That was two. That was both the same number I rolled for both of those. <laughs> <That's dying. laughs> the dire wolf's AC is 14. Yep. Izzy, it's your turn. Okay, so I used all my level one spell slots up. Okay, but can so they're I all still gone. take a level one spell and push it to level, oh, yeah. level yeah, two? Yeah, okay. you can still pump it up to two if you've got two left. How close is Sweeney to me? I would say he's probably within a few feet. Like probably about five or six feet. each other. Because we're all but... standing <laughs> next to each other when this all went down. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, you, that's right. You were doing like your like, medicine check. I was right near you. On me, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. like his body is probably like just a few feet from I you. I wasn't thrown out the window like everyone else was. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna you and I have been together the whole time. All the cool people got thrown out the window. Because <laughs> of that cool swamp water. What? <laughs> I'm going to... Ca Why do I always wounds? end up bloody and soggy at the end of every one of these Yeah, adventures? I'm going to cure wounds. 
So, um, and right. this is just actually, I don't even, yeah, no, I have, he's got to be in touching range. Yep. Reach out and yeah, touch. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> ew. So you're going to use, so use cure wounds on Sweeney? Yes. Which All is right. 1d8 plus my spell ability modifier, which is five. So here we go. Seven plus five is 12. Yay. Sweeney, you are returned to life yeah. with 12 yeah. HP. 12. Do, drink no. your juice. <laughs> oh, no more grandpa dreams. And that's down oh wait i'm sorry at level because this is oh, at level, level two, two i right. get one more d8 yeah oh. please oh holy christ because i ran out of level ones. Oh, plus eight cool that's another eight nice so 12 plus eight that's 20 20 i'm up to 20 so griswold turns to horus and the illusion just fades away you see the green skin and giant mouth reveal itself just like the form of the red slutty, but in green skin. He looks a bit bigger and larger than the red slutty, um, holding a bit more of a commanding presence, mm. you can tell. His jaw opens and you see razor sharp teeth, his claws, black claws elongate off of his fingers and he just dives for you, Horus. <gasps> oh man, I gotta heal everyone soon. <laughs> so that is 20, 17, and 11. Uh, the 20 hits. Okay. Uh, use your ring. Use your magic ring. Oh, Make him not ring. hit. So ring. disadvantage. If you guys on, don't use your magic items, yeah. I will steal I them from the you. <laughs> okay. Oh, when you reroll with disadvantage, he got a 18. Your AC is a 19, right? Yeah. Yeah, he misses. Yay! So he misses completely. Yeah. Just claws exactly. clink off your armor and his bite just barely misses you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, ring and hair. Precious. So I guess with the ring, as it works, is the bite does get you, but the ring activates. Yeah, and I went back and in time. And he goes back in time, and he comes to bite you again, and you sidestep, and, and the bite honestly, I went you. way too far back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. Uh, I'm, in womb, I'm in the womb, I'm in the womb, I'm in the womb. <laughs> I'm in the womb. <laughs> and, then I, and then I went right back to that moment. I love the idea that like when you use it, you see like this, some random memory for a second. You're like, yeah. oh, that was weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's that's, use that every time. That's now. how the womb. You, you go back to the womb every time. <laughs> it's always the womb. Yeah. It's oh. so nice there. All right. It's warm. Righty, it's your turn. Righty the wolf. Oh, my name's Righty the wolf. Uh, so Righty is going to Righty is going to finally take action on uh, Griswold because he saw his brother not succeed very well at that. So was oh, that his brother? Lefty and Righty, they're, they're bros. <laughs> I thought they were just buddies. I thought they were. Just I thought they were lovers. <laughs> They were just born today <laughs> into existence. <laughs> 17. 17? <laughs> yeah. That's a hit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Uh, 2d6. Four. Oh, yeah. That's the two dice. Plus one. Five, eight. Piercing eight. damage eight. to Griswold. Nice. <laughs> Roll that strength. <laughs> no, 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 no. Strength saving throw. Oh, right, right, right. Man, those wolves. Dude, your wolves are clutch as hell. Ooh, they fail. Griswold is uh, not Green Slotty is taken down, Whoa. so he gets knocked onto the ground. Horus, it's your turn. Oh, nice. And actually, let me just check real quick. Prone, I think, gives you advantage. Oh. Uh, yeah. Advantage. So, yeah. No, as, you, as you, someone, have, you have advantage on, on Griswold right oh, now. Oh, hell yes. As, as someone who is prone, I'm very Oh, um, that's a it. critical. Oh, wow. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's a critical. <laughs> and, uh... Nice. Natural 20? A natural, natural 20. 20. No, 19, what? but I critical on He crits nines. on nines, that's oh. right. Or 19s. Because oh. yeah. he's a fighter. Um, so that's... You roll it twice, and then you then add the modifier. Right. Um, so that's 25 damage. Jeez. Jeez. Two. So to you take roll. a huge... Yeah. Like, uh, it's a lot of damage. Yeah. So what is, like, how are you hitting him to do a critical... Oh, I just flip the sword around in my hand so that it's facing backwards, and I just stab it down through the floor. Oh, gee. Oh, so just yeah. pinning him yeah, just basically pinning him into the, the wood. And that's only my first attack. <laughs> God. Because hey. you're a fighter, not a lever. Uh, that's a 22. Oh, that hits. You still have advantage. You might as well see if you crit. <laughs> um, oh, no, I did. I rolled. Two. Oh, you rolled both. Yeah. Um, and that's 17 damage. Jeez. Nice. So he looks real beat up. Yeah. Um, do you have another attack? Is that all your attacks? That was it, Those yeah. Okay. Attacks, yeah. yeah. I already used my third. That's my, what I thought. My surge. Mm. He looks real worse for wear, guys. <laughs> That's um, great. Zereni, it's your turn. Okay. It's a Griswold and the Red Slotty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Red Slotty is near Griswold. He's right behind. He's behind the wolves attacking one of them. 
Okay, I'm going to... And gonna, then Griswold's on the ground right next to you. Okay, great. I'm going to do uh, an Eldridge Blast, but I can do two beams. So I'm going to hit both um, Griswold and the Red Sloppy. Oh, you can hit two different things with it? Because yeah, she's um, above level that. five. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I've, I've been having her just roll the damage twice, but actually she can split the difference. Oh, cool. And just roll the attack each of them. Ooh, cool. All right. So I'm awesome. going to... I roll this one. Yeah, twice. Yeah, okay. So first for... So for Red... Seven, or, or does that include yeah. 13? For red, to hit red? To hit red. That hits, actually. Yay. Great. And then for Griswold, oh. uh, eight. That does not hit Griswold. Well. Oh, wait, you have advantage for attacking him. Oh, because he's, he's on prone. the ground. He's, he's prone, prone still. Yeah. He hasn't oh, okay. gotten up. 16. That hits. Woo-hoo. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Great, okay, so then I do... So this one's for red. It's three. Right in the butt. <laughs> and Griswold is eight. Eight? Okay, he's he's really, really, really Oh, hurt. that means he's one away. Um, that means he's one away. If you also want, you can push either one of them if you want to move them anywhere. Um, that's how your Eldritch Blast works. Oh, oh it if, pushes oh, them ten feet? If, if she pushes, wants to. Do they make a check at all? No. Oh, okay. So wait, if, if I, he gets pushed away from me, do I get to attack him? I don't think so. I, no. I don't think that's... Can I push them? I don't think that provokes attacks of opportunity when yeah. you do that. Uh, double check. It's a fair question. I don't think so. To the book! Because it's if anything that, moves ever, out of your right? reach. You d- but I think it has to willingly you move don't itself. Provo- yeah, you don't provoke attack of opportunity if an explosion hurls you out of a foe's reach or gravity oh. causes you to fall past an uh, enemy. Yeah. It's really oh, just no. if you're moving. Okay. Because the idea the is that... Move movement. him and then everybody yeah. just yeah. stabs yeah. him <laughs> on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> well, where would, you, where would you like to send uh, Griswold? You can um, move him 10 feet. I'd like to send him in the direction of the, the red slotty to get them gathered together. Yeah, so then maybe we could circle around sure. them. Yeah. Okay. Dog pile. Yeah, dog yeah. pile. So you knock Griswold <laughs> into the red slotty. Yeah. They kind of tumble can, into each other. Take that, you slotty. Can that, can that knock them both prone? Oh, yeah. I would say so. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So they're both right. on the ground, basically lying on top of each other. <laughs> wah, wah. It is Lefty's turn. <laughs> Cannot do wolf sounds. You got red. <laughs> that sounded like a wolf. I read it. <laughs> Look, it's just figuring out its life. It just came into yeah. being like yeah. ten minutes ago. It doesn't know how to howl yet. <laughs> it barely knows what wolves. You just are. birthed really two point. wolves into yeah. the world. Oh yeah, so my face spirits are. What big. am I, mom? Lefty's gonna make a. Well, I guess since he, he moved, what, like 10 feet away? My that's life still is within just my, violence. That's still within my range. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's 18. To hit? For, to hit, yeah. Oh, who are you attacking? 13 plus 5 is 18. Lefty's going to go after Griswold, I guess. Okay. Because, yeah. They're, yeah. Yeah, you they're hit. Yeah. And he's almost, he's going to do 2d6. That's plus 2. That's 5 plus 3. That's 8 piercing damage. Bark, 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 Against bark, Griswold? Bark, 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 bark. Yes. Um, so the wolf comes up and attacks him and, uh, finish him. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, man. I'm um, about to finish him in wolf voice. The, <laughs> oh, my God. The, uh, That's what the wolf says as it digs into him. Uh, he's, I imagine, like, their, like, spread eagle on the ground is going to pounce on his back. I did not think this was how it would end. He's going to grip. Um, the back of his neck. Okay. And then he's just gonna start walking backwards and like literally shred him from oh. neck to, to buttocks, like open, Ew. like a tin can. Yeah. Ooh. And then like and peeling then him open. Let out a. Oh! Yeah. And wow. then high five, righty. Yeah. That's not an action. That's a bonus no, they action. Do that. Bonus action. <laughs> bonus <laughs> action. High fives. Nice. High five. it's, on, it's on Dire Wolf. It's yeah, on there. Yeah. It's a Dire Wolf. Yeah. There. So for all listeners. Summon dire wolves when you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always makes things better. Oh, always Lord. summon dire wolves. All right. Sweeney, it's your turn. Griswold is dead. <laughs> he's been ripped apart. And the, the red slot looks pretty beat up. He's he's hurt. He's not nearly as hurt as right. what Griswold I'm gonna was. Stand up. You guys all just turned were just surrounded him and just, yeah. <laughs> just beat on him for about <laughs> Maybe two it'll rounds go straight. away if we kill him, right? <laughs> That's kind of He was what just we encircled did. by like three of you and two wolves. <laughs> Just getting bit and stabbed repeatedly. <laughs> well, Griswold's damage was out of control. That really didn't go according to Griswold's plan. <laughs> also, also, Horace, I think you did like 40 damage yeah, in one that's turn. True. That's true. Yeah. You critted and then did like another 15 yeah. on top of it. All right. Is anyone nearby the red slotty at this moment? Uh, Not me. just the. W- you're you're, you're near him, actually. I am still? 
Well, you're well, you're not actually no well, no. no. It's just I think he's yeah he's near me. Yeah. Okay, uh, sorry, flaming sphere. It's okay. <laughs> I got a lot of hit points. I'm gonna cast a flaming sphere. And I'm gonna hurl it at the red slotty. I don't think I'm right next to him because they both got. They did. Yeah, you were. You were right. Me. Yeah. The slotty yeah. is gonna make a deck save, right? Uh, yes, that's right. Okay. Needs to be. Uh, he does not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need to know. It's always great when you answer that. That. Is. So are we ruling that I'm not right next to him? The red slotty? Yeah. You're not. Because yeah. the red slotty was behind you the, guys. Behind you the guys wolves, were encircled right. around Griswold, right. and the red slotty was attacking the wolves from right, behind, right. and then it got hit in the face. Seven fire damage, mofo. Seven Ooh, fire damage. Hey. Oh, I missed the part where I threw out a cigarette. But yeah, I threw oh, another I cigarette. Love that. Because I, I have my, my material components for this spell already pre wrapped, mm. so I don't have to like pull them out cool. of my pockets again. Uh, new ports? Uh, and, custom, man. Custom. And they're at, they're okay. just weed. Oh. As you, <laughs> they're, they're weed and also a bit of tallow, a pinch of brimstone, and a dusting of powdered iron. Sick. They're not great. It's kind of a waste of weed, though. It's not the best weed. At least it smells right. better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as, as you did it, um, and the fire hit him for sure, but yeah. you see that some of it um, grazed off of him. It looks like the fire didn't burn him as much as it could have. I figured. It mm. is the red slutty's turn. It saw what, what just occurred, and... Uh, and continues to swipe at the dire wolf that it had been attacking before. Right, righty. It, it yeah. swings at him. Righty, right? That was righty was the one that attacked the yeah. red. Slutty, where's my pencil? You saw what just occurred. You saw what happened. Um, the bite hits eight piercing damage, but the claws miss him. Also, you see some of the scorch marks that were, were hit start to heal a little bit. Yeah. It's <sighs> a healer. Yep. All right, Izzy, it's your turn. I'm going to call lightning. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Lightning, it's me. Um, <laughs> that lightning, lightning, I don't miss you at all. Lightning, let's go shopping. <laughs> a storm cloud appears in the shape of a cylinder that is 10 feet tall with a 60-foot radius above me. Whoa. This is what we did last time. It ke- so it, it literally fills the ceiling fills of this room in a cloud. Yeah, it's a range Its range is 120 feet, so I'm, I'm going to assume that's the entire room. Pretty much. Okay, cool. Beans. <laughs> Um, Most of cast the spell and choose a point that I can see within the range. Each creature within five feet of that point must take a dexterity saving throw. All Is right. That all of us? So that's even my even my dire wolves. Yeah. Not not us. Just uh, uh, just the each creature uh, within oh. what range? Five feet of the point that I decide. Oh yeah, no no no, because no, I decide I want to hit the red. Yes, yeah, so you slotty. can hit. Okay. You can hit where the flaming so, sphere is, and it will hit just the slotty. Right. Oh, All roll, right. roll uh, dex for my... the sphere. Bart is also going to take a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, Bart? Okay. Yeah, Bart's right there. Oh, no. Well, fuck him. <laughs> 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 All right. Sorry, Bart. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does Bart do a great job? <laughs> Bart did not move at all <laughs> and got hit with the full brunt uh, of whatever comes out of there. Wow. So you can guess what I rolled for Bart's slotty. dexterity save. 29. Maybe Bart deserves it. Uh, the slotty also the needs slotty, to make a dexterity save. The slotty save. also missed his dexterity save. Oh. I would imagine mm. because it tripped over Bart who was just frozen and seeing a giant storm appear in the middle of his six, lodge. Six. Six. Uh, seven. Oh. So How much? 12 damage? plus Seven is nineteen lightning damage to on both a, because them. to both of them. Hmm. Boy, we'll bring, on we'll, each of my turns, uh, so the the lightning we'll stays, back. and on each of my turns, I ha- I could use an action to just cause lightning to strike again. So I don't have so to do the whole. Conjure. You see the lightning crackle against the red slotty's back. It scorches him a bit, but it also looks like some of it reflects off of his aura as well, yeah. just as the fire did. For Bart, though, the lightning strikes him and just like looks like like full cook, and he is just down, smoking, unconscious, just mm. out. Could be dead. Oops! <laughs> Did I do that? You, you were, I mean, I wanted to punch him in the face. It's uh, it's Righty's turn. Righty's gonna go for a bite at the s- at Bart. No, I'm kidding. Ready, finish, no. finish him off right Ready, no. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> finish Bart. <laughs> oh, I can see. Leave his, no, sir. Leave no witnesses. 
<laughs> like, the, have you ever seen like dogs when they get in beds and they get really excited yeah. and they like put all four legs and they do this little doggy dance? Like, I can see him doing that. Like, oh, I'm so proud, Master. He's gonna be so proud. No, Ready? No. Uh, I'm gonna do a biting attack on Ready on the the red slotty. Ooh, Does he have advantage because the lefty's there? Or no, the lefty's not there. He, uh, the wolf has advantage on attack rolls against a creature if at least one of the wolf's allies is within five feet of the creature. Don't think we can call Bart one of those. No, but righty and lefty are together right now. They are, now. so he has advantage. Yeah, he would yeah. have advantage. I'm sorry, that was nine. But let's see what the... Oh, a three. Yeah. Let's take the nine plus five is 14. That hits. Okay, cool. Remember, the wolves were right near each other because Griswold and the red slutty were right on top one. of each other and the one wolf just killed Griswold Six. last turn. Seven plus three is 10 piercing damage. Bark, nice. bark, bark, bark. Okay, so it, he's starting to look pretty bad. So he probably like nips at his leg and slices right into the a big part of him. Um, Horace, it's your turn. Sorry, it's Griswold's turn, but he's decaying. Horace, it's your turn. Oh, uh, roll for the decay. <laughs> roll for decay. Um, Decaying, decay saving right. throw. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just slowly walk at the red slotty and say something about frog legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, we get the gist. Yeah, you got the joke. Uh, okay, one is um, uh, 20, and one is uh, f- 14. Uh, both hit. Okay. 16 and 18. 18 damage? Yeah. Jeez. No, no, no. 16 plus 18. Seriously? Yeah, I attacked <laughs> him twice. One was 16 and one was 18. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, so quick math. math. So that is... All carry, the points. Carry yeah, 34. the one... <laughs> Okay, so he's, like, real messed up. Okay. <laughs> what does that look like? Because it's real bad. So what do you do with those two moves? Okay, no, no. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. You just said something, something, frog legs, yeah. and you take off both of his yeah. legs. I'm going to cut off at least one leg. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, same oh. both. Okay. Both. And yeah, I cut off both. put it in hurt. his you, mouth. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> I shoved them in his mouth. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold on. on. That's an action. That's a, I believe that's an action Sorry. to violate a slotty with its own cut off leg. That's later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> After you're dead, I'm going to feed you your own leg. <laughs> All right, Zereni, it's your turn. Um, so I was thinking that I could get, because he's in the middle of the, the, the lobby obviously not by the fire pit like he's the, right near the fire pit so i was thinking i could get around him and try to eldridge blast him into the fire pit area Ooh. so maybe we could you could like try to torch him yeah around there yeah, for yeah. Sure. he's okay. holding himself up by his arms right now okay great so i run around and aim so Let that i live no <laughs> And I Eldridge... No, I think it's time to be diplomatic, guys. <laughs> this is the time to be diplomatic I with a chaos slot. frog. Oh, yeah, I speak slot. <laughs> <laughs> if that were the case, <laughs> way to bury the lead. <laughs> that actually is a language. All right. <laughs> I know. Okay. I don't. I'm kidding. Those are many. So I do that, and I say, hey, man, I'm sorry, but <laughs> if those stupid elves didn't steal that flower, I wouldn't have to do this. <laughs> and then I do it. <laughs> And I get a 12. Is that? No. Sorry, that's <laughs> not. No. Well, that's not. At least I let him know how I felt. Yeah. <laughs> at least he knows that now. Yeah. yeah. At least he's aware. Uh, it's Lefty's turn. Lefty is going to do a, a bite on him because that's all he can do. He's going to take the other leg, I guess. Uh, 15 plus. So it's 15 an advantage because of his brother. 15 and then 17. Both. They hit. Both One hit. of them hits. Six. Six. 12 plus three is 15 mm. to the slotty. I guess that he could bite him on his fat, blubbery, demonic body since yeah. the legs are gone now. You're so, right, the legs are gone. As I said when you conjured the dire wolves jokingly, um, the they apparently are the antithesis to frogmen <laughs> because finish him. <gasps> what? Yeah. Yes. Oh, shit. Um, he's going to bite him on his body, but when he bites him, like his entire snout just like decompresses into it and then his whole head's like in the body Ew. and then he he's like oh shit wait what and so he's gonna lift him up but lift the whole slotty up at the same time and just fling him through the air and we're all gonna be like Whoa. into the weird cloud conjuration that's it, into the, that's spinning, in the ceiling spinning into the clouds out of the clouds and then land in the fire pit and burst into flames yeah <laughs> so it's just a cooking <sighs> frog carcass yeah. on yeah. the uh 
All yeah. right, guys. <laughs> Congrats. Whoa. You're out of uh, you're out of initiative. Uh, you guys did it. Uh, you murdered a bunch of frog uh, monsters. Now we gotta do our dance. Oh, uh, you suck. You, you suck, suck. You suck. suck you suck. suck. Loser dance. Loser dance. Loser. I'm dance. just gonna while they're doing that. I'm just gonna drag the carcass of uh, Griswold into the fire pit as well, and then move the flaming sphere onto them and just oh, annihilate cook them. Cook them. Yeah. So Thank as you. as you Thank do this, you, you see Togar come into the room. He's now carrying one of the uh, the axes because you, Horus, you inspired him, but he's a little late. You're late. What <laughs> happened? Ah, uh, Togar, you just. I uh I, I got I got an axe. Are, are they still around? Uh, I'm proud of your bravery. Bart. Are they gone? Togar, look! Look at Bart! Somebody hurt Bart! Oh my god! <sighs> Bart, what happened? I don't oh no! Did they do this? Yes, Griswold. Hold on, I don't normally say smart things, but I got one. I think we should cast Remove Curse on everybody in this place, just in case. She's out of spell slots. <laughs> well, we'll wait till the morning. Yeah. Tomorrow! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, just, we can inspect them. Because there's that old lady up there that's been hearing, like, chaos down here. Oh, Gloria, yeah. Is she, is she out here in the middle? Oh, my God. No, Gloria. she's up in that room? No, she's up in the room still. And, and then and then worm. worm. Like, they oh, could both the be infected. Worm? I think the slot oh, was the worm. No. Uh, oh, because it was birthed. And yeah, then grew, mm, it aliened. Can we do well, some I hope sort so. of, like... Worm and Gloria. Can we so, go check on the flower? <laughs> yeah, well, what time is it? It's Ooh. it's it's pretty late. Like it's starting to get dark. Like so, it's it's just about to I hit. I think we sh- I think we should pull a full the thing and group everybody in yeah. one room and we just sit there and watch them throughout the night. Yes. Okay. So you, so you guys yeah. gather everybody together. Um, you do find Orm. He still looks a bit destroyed. And Gloria. Oh, comes down. Hang as- on. Medic medicine check. Is Bart dead? Yeah. Uh, Bart is not dead. Oh. He is healing potion. He's so <gasps> close to death, though. Oh, oh you heal him. There you go. Give him my last healing potion. <laughs> oh. healing po- he's such a I, dick. I, I, saw, I saw my grandfather. He was, <laughs> we all do, bro. He's such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the side effect. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're dying when you see your asshole grandfather. <laughs> Wait, I don't have an asshole grandfather. You'll have to get one. I must be dying. Ah. <laughs> I, uh, what happened? I saw some bright light and I felt uh, this this energy coursing through me and I, I, I must have passed out. Did it, you come back from the dead realizing how terrible this place is and that you should burn it? I'm sorry? No. What, what are you talking about? This is my, <laughs> this is my establishment. I would never... Yeah. What the heck... What is burning on my fireplace? He just sees the carcasses of two melting frog creatures. It's dinner. That, that wasn't a dream. I thought I, I thought that was part of the dream I had. Nope, that was my all asshole real. grandfather. Nope. Well, I mean, I can't speak to the asshole grandfather part, but well, we're definitely gonna have to do a public relations with the local authority about this. I don't know if many people's gonna want to come by to Bartholomew's Cradle anymore. Is he Could you guys all sign a waiver that says maybe none of this happened? Would you be open to that? Mm. No. No. Probably no. not. No. no. Sure about that? No. Pretty sure. I Is he give, makes I a mental mean, one note free, to tell One free weekend there. on Bartholomew. Pretty nice. I mean, when this place doesn't have frog demons and minotaur people, it's pretty nice. The Bart, spas are great. I, I'm this close to burning this place down. I, yeah. I would say that um, we should have free passes forever. <laughs> Um, I, I, I would say that that makes sense um, in my mind, business wise. Well, hey, you guys, we uh, saved you guys you. are friends of Bartholomew, so you're for friends of the Bartholomew's Cradle. Is what know, I would always say. It's so kind of you to offer a full refund. I, I don't think I, I don't believe I said that. Believe you did while you were um, on the ground. I don't know. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Uh, make a decision yeah. check. No, that's a persuasion check, a sir. Persuasion. Okay, Actually, which one's better for me? I might take you up on that deception. Yeah. Oh, did you do it? No. Oh. I'm going to try to say, Bart, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> back, Finally. Back to, your, back to your grandpa. If you don't give us a full refund. <laughs> that's a, what is that? Nine. A 10? No, it's a nine. It's a nine? Oh, a 13. Look, you know what? <laughs> can we have advantage for the situation <laughs> that we're can. in? You can. He, you killed yeah. a bunch of monsters around here, so I'll give you uh, advantage for your in- intimidation check. That wasn't better. That <laughs> <laughs> wasn't better. <laughs> I mean, I will punch him in the face. <laughs> um, but you know what? Punch him. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Horace is super strong. Break his face. Uh, okay, that's a 19. Yeah, you'll hit. 
Okay. It's one arm damage, so you just okay. add a modifier. So you do about like five damage to him. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, my strength is five. All right. So I'll... Six damage. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody gets a refund. Just stop hitting me in the face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, did I knock him out because his health was No. Low? What? How much health did you give him back? You oh, didn't I don't give know. him more than uh, five. No. I don't know. He's not, not necessarily. Oh, right. It's 2d4 plus two. <laughs> do it. Do it. Four. He had six. So he he's at one HP. <laughs> No, he's at one HP then. No, wow. I just did six. Did you do six? Yeah, his his strength five is strength. five. Oh, because it's one and then so you just knock him out. <laughs> <laughs> Again. So he's like, All right, let's it. find his gold. <laughs> Togar knows what yeah. it is. Um, Pillage. Wait, uh, uh, I'm not going to say anything if you take it. Honestly, I'd give you a refund for this. Of course you would. You're yeah. a good person. Hey, Thanks. Do we, gotta, do we but, all want to go watch that flower bloom? Yeah. Oh, it's by yeah. that time of night. And oh. if you guys could, uh, you know, I know this business might be going under, but uh, if you could give like a nice rating in the local, uh, we call it Old Yelp, uh, is what we call it. Um, Old Yelp. About at least, the, I mean, I know the experience wasn't great, but uh, if the you f- could leave like a nice rating about the food, I mean. Yeah, the food was fine. Food was great. As good as yeah. all right? Oh, it was fine. I think I got a job for you. You do? Yeah, we're always looking for chefs at the uh, estate, Kemp Estates. Are, are you serious? Aww. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I'll, who who should I talk to 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 make that happen? Uh, uh, Prince Torrance, Prince Torrance Kemp. I'll, I'll, all right, runs, I'll. Uh, he runs most of it. I'll 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 look that up right away. Thank you. Yeah, tell him. Uh, Do tell you have him. any writing or thing you could give me? Uh, yeah, to yeah. I'll uh, I'll 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 use some like candle wax nearby and and write something and put use my your ring ring seal. Yeah. Okay. And give it to him. Be like, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I I don't know what to say. You I'll, know what? You're a good man. I can tell. Well, you're not a man, but whatever. Oh, all right. Well, uh, anyways, thank you. Stick uh, around. Let's watch this thing bloom. Okay. So you guys go out back. At this point, because you cast that cloud with the rain and, and the light is still around, glowing, <laughs> it looks like it is. It has kind of settled itself uh, back into the into the glow. And you guys wait. Um, Togar brings you out some more oatmeal. It's a little past eight at this point, um, and the moon is out full. Beautiful night. Stars are out. There's a little fire still on parts of the lodge where maybe you guys didn't put it out. <laughs> and we, we we put most, most of, of it, it out. out, right? Yeah, and. As the evening goes on, you see the petals open and the flower opens, and it's beautiful. Inside, as the petals open up, you see pink light, almost as if like fairy spiritual creatures kind of pool out of it. Not like ghostly, but peacefully kind of flutter out, like you'd see fireflies pooling out of the petal itself. As it does this, you feel a warmth kind of cascade over each of you and you see the fog rolls back away from the lodge where you are and it's a very it's a very peaceful moment what does each of you feel staring and looking into this flower i feel like izzy is trying to make me a better person Hmm. i look over at her and go like this is weird Weird. You give a knowing look, like, hmm, <laughs> yeah, this is strange. Hmm. I'm actually also watching Izzy for her reaction. I conjure, speak with plants. <laughs> Since it's been like what twenty, thirty minutes. I mean, sure, cool. at least, yeah. Has okay. it? Because he made sandwiches. Well, what? that takes like right? an hour, right? Like, how long have we been sitting here waiting for it to bloom? You guys were waiting for it for quite a while. Okay, cause like probably about like another hour, hour and a half or two. Right. Okay. Yeah. It like, was it was a little past eight p.m., sandwiches. but it did get ripped out of the ground. So. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. Uh, you guys use magic water and light to bring it back to life. So <laughs> yay! Speak with plants. So I'm gonna do that again, and then I'm gonna see if it has a response. I was like, "Do you feel better now, Moon Lily?" Hi. Oh my God. How oh are my you? God. Hi. My name's Moon. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Well, my full name's Moondrop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> his name is Moondrop, you guys. What's your name? <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I'm Yusuf Al Buchanan. Oh my gosh, I've been I've been waiting so long to come and see you. Uh, I have so many questions. I'm a plant. <laughs> <laughs> what is my purpose in life, Moon Lily? My legs hurt a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, do you remember my father, Moon Lily? Um, I don't know. What's a father? I can't understand it. No, none right? of this. None of this means anything to us. <laughs> okay. Is uh, what did he look like? He kind of looked well. He was like tall, and he had like black kind of dreads and silver eyes, and he was wearing you know like this really bad tartan suit. Um, 
I'm, yes. He, the plant looks at you a little bit, and like it looks like it almost tilts its, like you think it tilted its petals a little bit. <laughs> like someone might look at you quizzically. Um, yes, I did. Oh, cool. Um, okay, great, great. So, uh, next question. <laughs> um, can I have some of your seeds? Um, sh- sure. Great, yay. Okay, cool. I'm just going to take Are one. Are you going to do nice things with them? Yes, I am a, I'm a druid. I'm They're my brothers and sisters. I know, but I, I am of the moon, uh, circle of the moon, and I want. I wish to bring your kind back into my forest because there are no more moon lilies there and there used to be they are gone they are gone because a great evil was once in that land and i, I would have you roll a persuasion want... check against the flower <laughs> a phrase i don't get to say the flower's not often gonna stop enough. me i punch the flower <laughs> firebolt <laughs> intimidation listen flower you son of a bitch <laughs> uh that's nine <laughs> Well, I, Any I, reason she might have advantage? <gasps> yeah, being I'll a druid give you advantage and for being a druid. I'll give you advantage for being a druid. And, and, for, a, and, and, because, it's a, a, and because it's a plant. And mentioning a great evil. Oh, there we go. Tw- 14. That's enough. Cool. Yes. Yes. Well, if you promise to do good things with my brothers and sisters, I will say it's been very solitary here. Uh, you're in luck. I am chaotically good. Okay. I am. It's rare people mention their own alignment. So can I, re- I reach in and I pick out... <laughs> well, you'd have to climb down into oh, the island. I, I, I imagine you came I down really, close. I, I've assumed that she's had this conversation one-on-one with the plant, and we're just watching from the observation deck. What does plant sound like to people that it can't speak plant? Probably nothing. Yeah. Probably I mean, it just sounds like wind. Maybe like light wind. It's uh, probably telepathic. Because they don't have any vocal cords okay. or anything. They're plants. So but it's probably all telepathic. They all sound like Mr. Bill, though. Okay. I actually wonder, maybe we do hear... What, I mean, maybe we don't hear it, but we know that you're saying it. Like, we can clearly see you talking to it. Right. Maybe we can't hear right. you, Right. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're like... Whispering to it. Hello. You're talking at the same volume. You're just... Here, I'm here, I'm here. 15 feet away from us. Here, here, so you, you reach into the plant, and you take one of its mm-hmm. pink glowing seeds that are in the... Cool. Kind of the center of its uh, opened flower. Cool. One last question, own sure. Moon Lily. Can my friend touch you? Um, sure. Okay, great, great. I'm gonna I'm gonna gesture over to Zareni and and be like, come on. Oh, Ex- are you speaking to I the plant? I did. The plant is cool with you examining it. Thank you. You're welcome. I um, said touch. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was not cool with examining. <laughs> um, yeah. So Zareni, you reach down and I go over. Um, touch the plant. I thank it. And I touch the plant, um, and I slotty everywhere. (laughs) Oh no, (laughs) Izzy, can you ask it if I may take one of its smaller petals along with me to keep in my book? Oh, moon lily, oh gentle, beautiful moon lily, too precious and pure for this world. Yeah, may my friend uh, rip a part off (laughs) of you, (laughs) Horace. I swear to God. We're not there. <laughs> Take one of your <laughs> petals for her uh, sacred book. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just met. Quick, Zrenny, rip one off quick. <laughs> okay. it's okay. Roll a persuasion <laughs> check. Quick, <Zareni>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> You have advantage. Uh, Remember? One more time. 16. <laughs> oh, this poor Lily. Um, I mean, uh, well, I have a loose one in the back when those people took me out of the ground. Oh, good. That that would be, that's fine. That suffices just maybe, fine. Maybe take that one. <laughs> okay. Could you pull quickly, though? Because it does hurt. Okay. You can pull the, the janky looking one in the back. Okay. Okay. No, fuck that. Persuade him <laughs> for a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, and so I quickly d- prick it, Ow! and I put my hand on it to try to help the pain she is nice really hands. quick. And I go, thank you, Moon Lily. I will keep this safe and preserve the um, integrity of your information in this book for future generations to learn about truthfully. And then, then I leave to go join Horace <laughs> and... Um, Sweeney. Sweeney. They watched you guys just stare and then pull <laughs> and then things <laughs> off of a plant. 
Well, um... Weirdest day. <laughs> please come back and visit, I guess. Oh, we will, Moon Lily. We will. Will we? But, you know what, sweetie? She might. <laughs> she might. I might. On my vacation. So... After we the have plan our plan rolls in sight, will she return? <laughs> <laughs> after, after we do that, we should then take watch. Uh, we should gather everyone mm-hmm. in the center of the room mm-hmm. and split up the night. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe you two. Uh, Hor- Sorry, it's an mm-hmm. audio medium. Maybe Horace and Zareni take mm-hmm. the first watch. Okay. Izzy and I take the second watch. Cool. Perfect. So the the night goes over. You guys keep a watch on everyone. Gloria Orm looks, you know, exhausted and just completely emotionally drained, but he doesn't look sick. Gloria as well. She she looks just kind of frazzled mm-hmm. completely, but she doesn't seem to look sick either. So everyone actually, you you wait through the night, and it looks like um, all of them seem to be okay. Um, um, as as the night goes on, I don't know if you two want to have a conversation. I'd like to have a scene with Izzy, but mm. I'm gonna defer to you two first. Cause sure, uh, I'm gonna have a scene with Bart, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. You all are. He's unconscious. I will. I will put a blanket over Bart. <laughs> oh, sorry, he's all right. <laughs> and I'll punch him if he wakes up. <laughs> a little moment here with Izzy Sweeney. You guys are s- sitting there. You're keeping watch. The fire is burning up the rest of the dead toad demon creatures. Yeah, now it's just like the leftover bones. Yeah. So sometimes we have to move the fire. Some nice kindling. Yeah. You're using like part of a frog leg to push yeah. the other uh, bones in there to keep it going. I sort of sit next to Izzy and say, "Why? why did we come here because i know a, a con when i see one you you wanted to be here mm-hmm. it was important to you you're right sweeney it was it was very important to me because my father came here a long 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 time ago before i was even I, before, when i was a twinkle in his eye uh this was the very last spot and on his pilgrimage that he took when he left his family and so I wanted to follow in his footsteps because I too left my family. And I wanted to end up here because he said this lily gave him great insight and great enlightenment. And the only thing this lily gave me was one of its seeds so I could take it back to my forest and indeed repopulate, you know, the moon lilies there. But I mean, this lily isn't that smart. I don't think this is really truly my enlightening point, but I know that now. I know I may be my father's daughter, but I am not going to go down his same path. My enlightenment lies somewhere else, I guess. Well, you left your family under very different terms. Than, this is true. Then he left his. This is true, which is probably why the lily didn't work for me. It, Izzy, it's a flower. But I could speak to it, Yes, sweetie. you can. Yeah. I can commune with it. Izzy, like it's I not. Like I commune with nature. Izzy, it's not you. That's true. I know that now. So we got to go. Izzy, I don't know. Izzy, I'm worried for you. Why? What? What? Why are you worried? I just turned 20. I'm great. Izzy, when you were 17, you could turn into a bear. Yes. That's the kind of power no one can even dream about. But that's like a, that's what we do. We're yeah. druids. We can tap into it. I and mean, I worry that you don't realize how important that is. Uh, I pro- you know what? I probably don't. Izzy, I've seen you kill. Yeah. And I've seen, I mean, I, I'm not talking about when we're trying to defend ourselves i mean i've seen you take lives and then i've seen you dance that's true well i mean I and I, I i have to think of you as this kid i have to keep thinking of you as this kid because if i think of you as an adult who can make educated decisions about the world and how she treats people then you're a person that kills people we've not all, not a child well we've all killed people i mean yeah but have evidence of that izzy i'm not the kind of person you want to be measuring yourself against. That's true. Thanks. Well, I mean, it's true. It's true. And I and I don't look. Obviously, the Slotty were evil incarnate, pure chaos and madness. That's not what I'm talking about. But I am talking about a couple of deep gnomes. I'm talking about a lizard man who maybe didn't need to be murdered quite as badly oh, as he was yeah. murdered, and. I know that your your family you have a complicated relationship with uh, murder, yeah, and with anger. We do, we do. It's hard. To, it's kind of like a blood rage. We kind of just give into it. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of hard to fight. Sometimes. I just need you to be aware of it. Okay, because it, I I feel real tired of saying this to people. I've seen what happens when people have too much magic mm-hmm. and too much power and not enough appreciation for it. I feel real tired of having that conversation with people before they die. 
Oh, I might die. Oh, well, yeah. We all might die. We all might. Yeah, that's true. But thank you. If I die, then I die, I guess. But if you kill, mm-hmm. maybe there's a part of you that dies that can't come back to life with magic spells from a warlock. Like my innocence? Yeah, that's kind of where I was going with that one. True. Yeah. May I, maybe I'm not as chaotically good as I started out. You say that a lot, and I feel like it's what you've been told, or what you've been telling yourself. And I, I feel like you use it as a, as a buffer. You just say, oh yeah, I'm doing this because I'm, I'm chaotically good, and I feel like that's what your parents told you. Mm-hmm. And I worry that you don't think twice about it, about what that means to really do good in the world, to be... I mean, I'm not... I'm not that. No. Are you trying to resolve some of your own past issues and saving me from from my downfall and grace, Sweeney? Yeah, when I was 17, I was doing worse things. But similar things. Mm. And I don't want that for you. But you kind of turned out good. You're in a good place. You're with us now. Izzy, I've... I've had a horrible life. Uh, I've had a really bad time. I make it work because I kind of have to, but like I don't I don't know anyone but you anymore. You know? Like I don't have a, any connection with anyone I've ever met aside from you. I've burned bridges. Maybe some of them I'm happy to run away from, maybe some of them I'm not so happy that they're burning, but I'm not the kind of person you want to be using as a yardstick. Hmm. I'm the I'm the object lesson of what not to do. Okay. I, I just want you to bear in mind that murder's murder is murder. I mean it's one thing if it's self defense and it's one thing if you're just trying to stay alive, but when you kill mm-hmm. you're ending a life. Mm-hmm. I just want you to remember that. I will do my best. It's just a flower, Izzy. It can't tell you who you are. You can tell you who you are. That's true. I'm a loser named Sweeney, because that's who I've decided I am. But can't you undecide to do that? Some decisions don't go away just because you want them to. So as you guys are saying this, you suddenly see Bart like shoot up from his blanket. <laughs> I don't hit me in the face. <laughs> what happened? Oh, he hit you in the face. Huh? He punched you very hard in the face. I do apologize, but... Oh, uh, my God. My man Sweeney always has had a temper. Oh. oh I'm gonna... I'm gonna go back to sleep. Yeah, that's I'm fair. gonna go back to sleep now. Uh, oh, by the way, would you mind just signing this for me? Just You, 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 whatever, meant, you wrote it. Whatever, yeah. And he just... Whatever with his hand and then lays back down and goes back to sleep. Cool. I own this place now. So... <laughs> <laughs> The sun comes up. Um, you guys are all awake. Pack up your things. Um, you guys go down to the outside. Do you guys, anybody else want to, I don't know if there's anything else you guys want to get? Or yeah, I mean, want- I, I want to invite Z. Z, come here real quick. <laughs> Z. <laughs> What's up? What's up, H? I, uh, I, I, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm a prince. And I have a burgeoning kingdom that... I'm shaping as I go, and whatever it looks like, who knows. But in the meantime, I've formed something called the Velvet League. And wherever I go, I try to bring people on board for maybe a kingdom that we can all decide what it means to be part of something. I mean, who knows? I don't know. Yes, I will rule it. Yes, I will be important. But... (laughs) Why not others? Why not? Why wouldn't? Why wouldn't other people be important in this kingdom? I mean, I've seen it all the time. What do you think? Uh, I'm. What are you asking me? If something were to shape in the future, like a kingdom, say. Mm-hmm. So there's no actual <laughs> kingdom <laughs> well, right now. Not exactly, but that doesn't mean one isn't forming as we go and as we speak. Everywhere we go, people. I don't know, become my slaves, my servants. I don't like to use the word slave. People become my <laughs> servants. A servant has a lot of weight behind it, but let's just say subjects. And that's, that's the best word I think you could use. Thanks. Yep. And I've seen uh, uh, good people and made good friends, and I think you could be one of them. 
you know what? I appreciate that. And I think as much as sometimes you seem to bullshit to people's faces, I think deep down you are a good guy. Uh, You might be wrong about that, but thank you. I appreciate that. Well, <laughs> As, I, oh, go on. Go. no, 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 go. I, I spend a lot of time with books and maybe not with people as much. So that is just my gut instinct. Um, but I wouldn't mind if I could get a velvet cloak from your kingdom um, just as a favor and as oh. a token of remembering you guys. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Gormo, Gormo. <laughs> as, you, as you yell this, you don't like hear anybody come down from up the stairs. Where's Gormo? A few moments later, <laughs> the front door to the lodge busts open. Gormo's there. He's soaking wet, and he's carrying his weapon. I I went back to get the weapon to attack Bart, like you said, uh, that I, I could freely attack him. I I forgot that I left it back on shore. I've been swimming all night. Do you want me to still attack him? No, Gormo. I need a, a velvet cloak from my stuff upstairs. I don't think we have an extra velvet cloak. There's one back on the camp on land. Yeah, yeah. I'll need you to get that. I um, uh, Could we take the boat back? I saw that there's a boat out there. We'll see. We uh, can take the boat back. Oh, we can take the boat back. One oh, last no. thing before we leave. I, I put this in a sealed pack. I know you don't like your things getting wet. Um, I found this at the camp when I ran back. It was a, a letter em- embroidered with your father's seal. Do you mind if I read it to you? I suppose. Gormo opens the letter and reads it. It says, My dearest son, I send this letter with much haste, hoping that it finds you in time. I have the most amazing news I wish to share with you and our family, something that will etch the Kemps in the history books for all time. Please make swift journey back home so I can deliver this news to you in person. On our most joyous of days, Bahamutmas. A family holiday one should always celebrate with family. I can't wait to see you soon, son. It has been too long. Love, King Marcus Kemp, your true lord and savior, face and fist of the angels, commander of the bronze keepers, lover of his people, and five-time bake-off champion, dad. P.S. You can bring those two servants you're always going on about. Mm. I, I try like to do Dad. the best impression of your father. <laughs> Thanks, Cormac. I know you always ask me to read it in the voice of people who are writing it. <laughs> I try my best. Thanks, Cormac. So you are a prince. Yeah. I, I guess mean, if we're taking the letter. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I mean, I always have been. Shall I uh, take us back in the boat? Uh, yeah, let's get back on the boat. Here, you can have this cloak. And I take off my cloak. And hand it to. Whoa, Zing. heavy. Soaked in blood. Yeah, it's <laughs> soaked in my own blood. <laughs> I, I, I wash it while we're. Oh, you just de- hold it in the water yeah. as you guys are boating back. <laughs> yeah. I imagine Gormo is pushing you guys now since that Griswold is very dead. Remember, there's always room for a sage in the kingdom. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Well, that was it. That was your adventure. Woo! Well done. Everybody lived. Good job, guys. Everybody lived. Except Yay. for the people we didn't want to live. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for this week's episode. And thanks again to Seychelle Gabriel for joining us. But you haven't heard the last of her. Next week, we'll sit down with the entire cast and talk about family traditions. And then myself and the producers, along with Kelly, who plays Izzy, will talk about the genesis for this adventure and how we put it together. Be sure to come back next week and join us for that. Once again, you can follow Seychelle Gabriel on Twitter at Seychelle Gab. Now, Friday Night Quest is still a growing show. So if you like what you've heard and you think others would as well, we would appreciate you taking a minute to recommend the show either by leaving us a review on iTunes or just by telling a friend about us. Photos and character art can be found on partialarc.com where you can listen to or download full episodes. There you can find other podcasts, including Because Comics, where Mike Christensen and myself talk about the weird and wacky stories from comic books. Remember, you can always email us with any questions or comments at FridayNightQuests at gmail.com and hear more from us every day on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Tumblr, all under the handle PartialArc. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the battlefield. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the body. So, how much experience do we get? Well, now we have a skeleton army, so that's pretty neat.